If your website homepage is listing your blogs, but you want to create a separate blog page like this with a grid, and you want to customize your homepage design, then you've come to the right video because I'll show you how to do all these three things today. Okay, first I'll show you how to create a separate blog page for your website. Here I am in my WordPress admin, go to pages and create a new page called blog feed. Don't worry, you can change the name later if you want. If you open this new page, it will be blank. Later, I'll show you how to add different types of grids on it for free. But first, let's come back. Now we have to turn this blog feed page into a default page. So our blog show up here instead of our home page. So go to settings, then reading. And here you'll find your home page display setting. By default, it's set to your latest posts, meaning all your posts are displayed on your home page. Change this by selecting a static page. This will open up two options, home page and posts page. Set the home page to home and posts page to the blog feed page we created earlier. Scroll down to adjust other settings like how many posts will show up, which I've chosen as 20. Here, select include excerpt instead of full text, then hit save changes. Now let's go back to pages. And here you'll see that WordPress is highlighting which page is the home page and which is the blog page. If I click on my blog page, I can now see all the different blogs have moved here while the home page is blank now. You want your site to rank on top of Google and get lots of visitors. But we both know that all of them will just bounce off it if your site is too slow to load. Let me bust a myth right now. We've built successful WordPress plugins before and seeing this issue, we built a free plugin called Airlift, which makes any website three times faster within just one minute. Let me show you how. This is my test website. Let me copy its URL and check its page speed score. You can see it's very low. Now I'll just paste the same website URL in Airlift and click here. It's automatically doing all the optimizations needed and now you can see a huge jump in speed. It's totally free and you can visit this website and click here to install it. Sign up, download the plugin, then upload it to your site and you can use it now. Now you can use the default editor to create your design but that can be complicated and take time. But what if you could get a really well-designed template here for free and then edit it using drag and drop like this? Also, everything is free. Click here to come back to your WordPress dashboard. Go to plugins, add new, then search for Elementor. This is the most popular free page builder plugin. Install it, then activate it. Now come back to your pages and open your homepage. Select edit with Elementor. Now we're in editing mode where we can design our homepage. By default, we are only able to add content to this area. So go here and click settings and in the page layout, choose element of full width. Now the usable area has expanded and you can use the full width of your page. Now this panel has widgets which you can drag into your site like this. So I can add a text block, then click and type the text I want like this. All the building blocks on my site are here but it takes a lot of effort to build a site from scratch even here. So to get an aesthetic homepage quickly, we'll now add a homepage template. Click on this icon to open the templates library, then click pages. Use search to locate a specific template for your industry. So I'll search for a restaurant homepage. Here you can use different filters to find the templates quickly. I'll pick this one for now and click here to insert it. As you can see, my homepage looks quite good now. I can click on any section I want to change then change the text or drag and drop new widgets and do other customizations. But what if I want to remove a section? I can go here, then click on this X icon to delete that section. To add a new section, I can go here, click on this plus icon. Now to add a new block, I'll click here. Then from the top, select blocks. These are pre-designed sections with widgets and layouts. You can search for different blocks, like I'll search for testimonials here. Then I'll select the block and insert it. Now you can see it's been added and I can make any changes to it like clicking here to change text. Next, I'll show you how to add different types of grids like this to your blog page. For this, we'll need another free plugin. So search for a plugin called PostGrid. Install and activate it. Now when you open the plugin, you'll see this red notice here to improve performance by choosing a resource load type. Basically, if you're using Elementor, then go to this drop down here select Elementor only, then click Save Changes. Now, everything is good and let's go to Pages, then open our blog page. Now, let's click Edit with Elementor. Now, we can find the PostGrid widget here, 
click on it then select the grid layout that you want so i'll pick this one and then click update now as you can see it neatly arranged all of our blog posts in a grid for the section title i'll just type recent blogs here now you can edit how this grid looks by changing layout types or column numbers let's say i choose this layout and number of columns this is looking good so far right now let's add a featured section for our latest blog let's create a new post grid but this time limit the number of posts to show just one post change the column layout to one under the query builder for the offset we limit it to one now you can see one big featured post on top and other blogs appear under it let's change the title to featured post here we can change the title to previous blogs but we don't want the same blog to show up twice so in the query builder for the offset i'll set this to 1 so it skips the first post and now you can see that the repetition is gone also come here and make sure that the link target is the same window here's another video i thought you'd like